All right, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your monitor on the PC. I'm running Windows XP. This will work also with, uh, you know, Windows 95, Windows 2000, Windows 98. As long as you have Photoshop installed on the PC, then we, we can calibrate the monitor, okay? Everyone must calibrate their monitor. This is the A number one most important thing on this CD. If you don't do anything else on this CD, please calibrate your monitor. Pretend that your monitor is not calibrated and you send a photo to somebody over the web after working on it in Photoshop and their monitor's calibrated. Well, guess what? It could look like this. Let's pretend that your monitor is calibrated and you send an image that you worked on in Photoshop, you send it to somebody else and their monitor is not calibrated. Guess what? It could look like this. It's so important. A number one, this is the very first thing I want you to do is calibrate your monitor, okay? Tell everybody, tell your family and friends, tell your coworkers, because the more calibrated monitors we have out there, the better everything is going to look. Okay, so this is very important. If you haven't calibrated your monitor already, please do so now, and I will show you exactly how to do it on this video. All right, I'm gonna come right down here to start and come right over here to control panel. All right, so if your control panel is located in a different spot, uh, just find the control panel and open that up right now. What you're gonna find is, is when you install Photoshop, when you install Photoshop on the PC, it gives you a little Adobe Gamma uh, calibration uh, program and it's right in here and, and it's right in the, the control panel area. All you have to do is just double click on that and a little wizard comes up, check this out. Little Adobe Gamma comes up and I'll ask you, uh, you know, which version would you like to use, a step-by-step -step wizard or use the control panel. Um, I like to use the wizard, I, I use both, but let's go ahead and try the wizard and I'm gonna click on the next button right here. Okay, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna go ahead and load an already made uh, profile. If you don't have a profile yet, then go ahead and click next. Okay, now what we need to do, look right here, you see this black square? Okay, first what you need to do is turn up the contrast as high as it goes on your monitor. Do that right now. Turn the contrast all the way up. Now if you have a, if you have a really, really cheap LCD monitor, uh, sometimes turning the contrast up can make things a lot worse because uh, it's, it's not a true contrast setting and it make, might look the image look all just saturated and stuff. So, so be careful when doing that. But if you have a fairly good monitor or if you have a CRT monitor, which is a, you know, it's a real heavy tube monitor. If you have one of those, then turn the contrast all the way up, turn it all the way up. And then I want you to look right over here on this black square here. Okay. Inside this black square right here is a gray square. Okay. Which sets right about here. Now, you need to turn up the brightness or adjust, adjust the brightness control on your monitor so you can barely see this little square here. So you can just barely see it, but not totally black and not totally bright, just so you can barely see this gray square inside of this black square, okay? And when you have that, go ahead and click on the next button. All right, and the phosphors, this is where uh, you wanna wanna go ahead and set uh, this to, uh, you know, you can select, uh, if, you, if you're running a Sony Trinitron monitor, you can actually select Trinitron, okay? Or you can select custom, enter in a, a custom phosphors. Um, if you're not really sure, go ahead and leave it on HDTV, um, but if you have a Trinitron, select Trinitron from here, okay? And, but then go ahead and just click next. All right, now we're revealing the, the single gamma only control here. Uh, what we want to do is actually, you see, a, you see a gray square right in the middle here, and you'll see these lines outside of it. What you need to do is blend this inside gray square in with the outside lines. Just blend it in as best as you can. And a, a way I do this is I, I squint my eyes or make my eyes a, a little blurry if possible, and I try to just, just, uh, just barely look at it and try to blend this square in just as good as I can to the lines outside of it. Okay, that's about the only way I can describe to do it. And um, and when you do that, man, you just get such a better result and the color and everything is just so much better on your computer. Um, but go ahead and try to do that. Blend that square in there as good as possible. And you can uncheck this. You wanna do single red, green, and blue gamma setting. Uh, you wanna do them separately, okay, you may get a better result. As a matter of fact, you probably will get a better result if you do them separately. Okay, but that takes a little more time. Uh, you can just view a single gamma only if you want to. Um, and when you're done there, just go ahead and click the next button. And it's gonna ask you uh, the hardware white point, okay? 
Now you can actually measure the white point yourself by clicking on this measure button right here, okay? And what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna, when you click okay, it's gonna show three gray squares on the screen, okay? Three gray squares, and what you must do is click on the two squares on each side and, and try to get that middle gray square as gray as possible. Get it as gray as possible, okay? So click on the two gray squares on each side of the one gray square in the middle and get get that as gray as possible, okay? That's when you're setting, um, th that is when you're setting the uh, hardware white point and this is a good way to do it. So if you don't wanna do that, go ahead and click cancel, but it would, it would make a pretty good difference um, um, in the uh, in the colorization of the monitor. So uh, go ahead and let's uh, just click next. And uh, now we can adjust the, the white point here. Uh, we can select just a custom white point. You wanna do like a 500K warm light. Um, that's pretty recommended if, if you don't quite understand what this means uh, to just leave it same as the hardware uh, white point, okay? And so I would recommend probably doing that if you're not familiar with um, some of these white point settings down here. Okay, and go ahead and click next. And then you can see what it is before and after. So after you've done all your changes to uh, your monitor, you can actually see the difference before and after, which is a really cool feature. And, and it, sometimes I'm just amazed, uh, you know, if I just pull a monitor out of the box and stick it up here, you'd just be amazed how much out of whack a monitor is after you get through doing the uh, Adobe Gamma Wizard. It's just amazing. So after that, just go ahead and click on the finish button and that's pretty much it. And it'll ask you, uh, you wanna save this uh, profile. You can just put, uh, you know, your own name, put uh, Joe's profile up. I can put Mark's profile. Or you can actually call the profile the same model number as your monitor. That way when you, when you use another monitor and then you plug this monitor back in, you can just load up this profile and you won't have to calibrate your monitor all over again. Okay, so go ahead and when you like that, just click save and it'll ask you, yep, I wanna go ahead and replace what I already had. And that's pretty much it. And it saves it and it closes out for you. And that's all you have to do. And I'll just go ahead and close out this window. And is that, that's how we can calibrate on the PC.